what if you start in the first version of Minecraft, you want to get to the newest version of Minecraft, and every day, every sunrise, you advance a version, but if you die, you go back a version. How's that for a challenge? Well, that is what we're going to be trying every time we die, we switch back a version. We are currently, this episode, going to be trying to get through all of the earliest creative versions in one episode because there are a whole lot of versions that are creative only and that's not much of a challenge because you can't die. So yeah, so we are just going to go ahead and adventure on and see what happens and get through all the creative versions today. And then next time, get to the actual dying thing, or not dying, hopefully, that would be the idea, is to not die. Because if we get into the first survival version, and then die before the next sunrise, then we'll downgrade back into the creative version, which would make things very interesting. So... We just loaded up here the second creative version. We have Steve's running around everywhere. And as you can see, they are running around. Last episode, if you guys missed it, we basically tried to trap a whole bunch of Steve's to keep them safe from whenever the monsters decide to show up because there's no monsters in this version. Also, no daylight cycle. Um, things like that. But yeah, we have still some Steve's in there, but it seems as if... Let's see if there's still a Steve in that little building over there. Because it seems as if when we reset the game, when we uh, quit quit the game and open it again, that the Steves reset because there were none of them left on the map. And they basically reset to B. Yeah, there's none in here anymore. So, yes, yeah, so the Steves are all reset everywhere else. Okay, let's take a look at the next version. See what has changed. Let's get through all of the creative versions today. Find all of the interesting things. See the development of Minecraft all the way up to when it was survival, and then let's jump in, possibly today actually, depending how long that takes, but we'll jump in either next episode or this time into the actual challenge, which would be to not die, basically, so that we can advance in versions. So let's go ahead and check out the next version. Well, um, this next version, 160052 of the pre-classic alpha versions, um, you guys can't really see this on camera because it is a massive thing. Uh, it goes full screen, not in a window. I'm going to have to adjust that because it looks like it's not possible to change it to, uh, to being in a window. So it's on the upright 1080p screen, massively like up, up like, uh, like a rectangle like this, like a really tall rectangle. And so going to have to fix that. And then we can go through and check out all of the features that have changed throughout all of these creative versions, how far the game progressed until we got to the first survival version. This is version 160052, I think that was the number. Basically, there are a lot of changes. As you can see, everything now is stone. That is actually a glitch because of changing from the previous version. As you can see, there is a crosshair in the middle now, so we can see where we are aiming our mouse. You still left click to place and right click to break which is opposite of the later versions. But here's another bunch of changes really fast before we move on. Um, we shall actually go ahead and fix this. As you can see, there are still a couple of Steves running around, but everything, everything, everything is stolen. That's because we have ported our world from the previous version. Let's go ahead and reset the world and see what this version has to offer. As you can see, this version is not all stone. That was just a world porting problem, but this version has terrain. This looks similar to the version you guys may be familiar with. There used to be a classic Minecraft version on the Minecraft website. And as you can see, this version is more interesting than the previous one. There's still Steve's running around, if we can go ahead and check one out, but, or rather say hi to a Steve. But as you can see, there is some terrain generation. There are grass blocks, proper grass blocks this time. That Steve is running straight towards, oh, hello. Greetings, sir. You are jumping for joy, jumping for joy because there is terrain now. There is definitely terrain now. It looks a little bit odd. There's like a giant slab of something or other up there, it looks like. But there is terrain. There are also a lot of other things. There are dirt blocks, there are stone blocks, and you can also, there's also blanks, but you can switch which block by pressing your numbered arrow keys. So, uh, not, not numbered arrow keys, number keys. So dirt, stone is one, dirt is two, and three would be cobblestone, and then four would be wooden planks. You now have options. You can now build some more interesting things. 
and there's apparently block particles. Not sure what they mean by that. There's also support for different block types and dyna dynamic blocks. By the way, I'm reading this off of the wiki. If you guys want to check that out, then go ahead and check out the wiki. If I remember, there'll be a link in the description. But there is a full screen mode, as we can tell right now. Well, you guys might not be able to tell, but uh, unless I said that earlier. But... There's a crosshair, there are a lot of things. Physics, grass exists on dirt well under light. As you can see, there is dirt over there. There is grass on the top and there is dirt underneath. It now pays attention to lighting. Is there a sun yet? No, it does not look like there is a sun yet. There are a bunch of other changes which we will go through very quickly, such as, as we said before, grass has lighting physics. If it is not directly exposed to sunlight, then it is a dirt block, but otherwise it is a grass block. Steve is jumping for joy. Apparently the shadows have been brightened as well. And apparently moving is a lot slower when in midair for some reason. Not sure exactly what that means, but apparently, reading that off of the wiki, that apparently is the case. On to the next one. This is version 161348, and it has a couple of changes. One thing, actually this was in the last version, you can see up in the top right of the screen, that is the block that is currently selected for being able to be placed down. There are still Steves running around everywhere, but if we go ahead and press 2, press 3, 4, there is no hotbar that you can see anything, but you can see that the block in the top right of the screen is actually changing which block it is. And if we press 6, we get a sapling. We can go ahead and place down... Whoop, that would be the wrong button because it is still left click to place, right click to break, but we can place down saplings. Not sure if they will grow into trees or not. That will be interesting to find out, but... These saplings are there, but apparently if it gets dark, the saplings will actually disappear. If they are hidden under a shadow of some kind, let's go ahead and check this out. See if we can check this out. Is it going to disappear? Is it going to disappear? Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and block it off from this direction. Let's go ahead and block it off from this direction. Come on. How dark does it have to get? Oh, you can see that the grass is turning Oh, the sapling disappeared already because it was in darkness. That is something that does not happen in the newer versions of Minecraft, but that is a major setback. Hopefully that changes by the time we get into Alpha, because otherwise we might die due to nighttime and losing our saplings and whatever else, so that wouldn't be very good. Okay, well, the crosshair has been enlarged as well. Just go through a couple of changes really quickly. Game is no longer in full screen mode, which is, which is blah, blah, blah. no longer in full screen mode, which is very nice. Indeed, and apparently particles now follow the player's location. Not sure, I don't see any particles yet. Not sure if you guys do, but uh, didn't see any. Okay, well, in any case, we have wooden planks, we have saplings, we have a whole bunch of things. We are getting ready to be able to build some things, and Steve is still joyfully jumping around. Jumping around for joy already. Hello, Mr. Steve here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and leave Mr. Steve to go ahead and run around, and we shall go ahead and check out the next version. Apparently, cliffs are added to terrain generation as well, which it looked like we had those in the previous version as well, but according to the wiki, they were added in this version, it sounds like. And the grass layer can now be thicker than two to three blocks, which is nice as well. You have more dirt and things like that. Okay, we have jumped a bunch of versions. This is version 0.0.13a, if you can see that it's kind of small up in the corner there's also an fps counter which is really nice we're getting over 350 fps which is very nice but we have skipped a bunch of versions and as you can see there is and i'll explain why in a minute as you can see there are a bunch of things on a menu now so when you press escape it no longer quits the game it gives you a menu which is very nice you can click back to game or you can hit escape again save level load level generate new level let's go ahead and save the level uh Saving the level doesn't do anything. Load level doesn't do anything. Uh, oh, generate new level. Okay, so that is doing something. So, as you can see, we had to reset the world again. But basically, this world now... I'm not sure where the Steves went. They were there a few minutes ago. Uh, generate new level. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is interesting. So we still have... Oh, and it froze. Did it freeze? It appears to have frozen, but we have a world that is very long. It is a rectangle, very long and short and everything, and water all around it, which we wanted to check out. Is that actually water? Because it possibly is. But the reason we skipped a bunch of versions is because there are so many versions that are no longer in the launcher. Let's go ahead and try to restart this while talking. Um, so many versions that are no longer in the launcher... And so we went forward, and then there was the 0.0.11a version, which was in the launcher, but that version showed up weird on the screen. The graphics didn't quite 
lay out the way they were supposed to. So this next one seems to be working okay. Aha! Here we are. So as you can see, there is water, it looks like. Oh, we cannot leave. There's an invisible wall, and it froze again. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you guys didn't see that yet. Okay, uh, OBS is... Okay, so the keyboard appears to be tied up as well. OBS will not uh, switch scenes. Um, okay, there we go. And what I'm going to do is stand still until OBS picks... It might be when OBS picks it up that it goes wrong. It might be when OBS picks it up that it freezes. Oh, not yet. Okay, so you guys can see this now. We're getting about 400 FPS. We were getting about 600 before OBS, but as you can see over here, there is water, but we cannot get into it because you run into... Well, okay, it froze again. There is an invisible wall there. Um, not sure why it's freezing. Let's move on to the next version. This version has the same version number except added an underscore 03, which probably means it is a bug fix update of some sort. Um, but apparently didn't fix the freezing problem. But as you can see, the world generation is very different. The previous one was just a flat rectangular thing with water on the outside. This appears to have hills once again. Uh, yeah, and it is frozen once again. So let's move on. That was the end of what the Minecraft wiki calls early classic creative. Next it goes through a lot of versions which apparently are not in the launcher. The multiplayer test versions, survival test, and then goes back to late classic creative. We have version 0.30 and we will check that one out momentarily. And this is late classic 0.30 creative version. Apparently it was released at the same time as the survival version, which we no longer have, which means that we are getting closer to starting the survival challenge. And as you can see, there are trees, there's an inventory hotbar. Um, there's actually no inventory, it looks like, but there's a hotbar. We now have bricks, we now have cobblestone, stone, dirt, wood, logs, wood planks, leaves, which have fancy graphics, it looks like, if you guys recognize that from the later versions. And we have glass, we have Stone slabs we can, oh, and right click is to build now, left click is to break, that is very nice indeed. If we dig down, we have a whole bunch of stone. Oh, and there's a cave, and you can't fly, can you fly? No, you can't fly, so you still can't fly, but there is a cave, we are in a cave. According to the wiki, it says it removed mobs. Oh, there are mushrooms, wow, this game is really beginning to take shape. Um, not familiar with if there is an inventory opening button, it's not E, it looks like. Um, not Q either, not Z. There's lava! Oh, wow, okay. So this is, it looks like this is the end of the creative, late classic creative versions, and we can go and swim in lava. But as you can see, things are really starting to take shape right now, and we no longer have a freezing version, it looks like. It looks like our version is actually working. Oh, there's coal! Oh, wow, okay. Things are really shaping together, really coming together. We shall get out of this little place over here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. Ooh, there's dandelions! There's also dandelions. What happens if you pick something up? Uh, we can't pick it up. It looks like it looks like your inventory is full. Can you drop an item? Nope. You press to pause. The pause menu works now. You have options. Music on, sound on, show FPS. Oh, we're getting about 300 FPS. You can see that in the top left. Oh, went down to 200. Let's look up. We get closer to 300. 500! Wow, okay. This is a very light version of Minecraft, that is very nice. Options, okay, we also got invert mouse, for those of you guys who like that function. Show FPS, view bobbing, which is when your head sort of bobs as you're going along. Limit frame rate, 3D anaglyph, ooh, we have to try that momentarily, and we can change the render distance. Okay, and controls, Oh, we can change the controls, finally we can change the controls, now we can do left-handed controls. Nice, excellent. For those of you guys who are left-handed, you'll know that how much it is so much easier to... Wait a minute. Build is B? Build is right-click. Okay, let's press escape. Uh, build is B. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, well, we will find out what that means. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and check that out. Toggle fog. Re uh, load location. Save location. Chat. There's a chat menu. Okay. Apparently, that is for the purpose of the multiplayer. Okay, ooh, left-handed controls. Oh, um, froze the game. Oh, didn't freeze the game. Nice, okay. Let's continue to use space for jump right now. Okay, so we are here. Uh, B to build. 
Oh, there's your inventory. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Let's go ahead and change the key. You now have an inventory. Inventory, excellent. Indeed, we can toggle fog as well. If you, whoop, wrong button. If you look far enough away, there's fog. But if we turn, oh wait, this is the fog. This is, oh, okay, so you can really change your fog. Wow, there's a lot of fog there. Okay, we have a whole bunch of blocks. Oh, nice, we have dandelions, uh, whatever this is. I'm not sure what this is. But we have a lot of blocks here, loads of things, including TNT. Does it actually work? We need to find out. This is essential. This is an essential task to find out. Does the TNT actually work? And stop pressing Alt because Alt jams the game. Okay, there we go. Okay, TNT. Is there a flint and steel? Is there a flint and steel? No. There is no flint and steel, even though there is TNT. So we cannot set off the TNT. What is this? This is weird. That's like orange to yellow. There's no names on anything. So we don't know what anything is. No idea what's going on here. But anyways, the game is really beginning to take shape. Let's go ahead and head to the next version, see if we can blow up this TNT or if the world will corrupt in the meantime. That's always possible. But we do have a saving menu. So let's go ahead and save level. Premium only, purchase the game to be able to save your levels online. Oh, saving the levels online. Wait, save file. What? Apparently saving your level is a little bit weird there as well. Apparently it tries to save it into a place where you choose on your computer instead of actually in your Minecraft folder by default. Um, that's weird. Let's move on. Are you prepared to time warp? Well, we have time warped very far because of the fact that a lot of versions are missing from the launcher. So after the early, cl uh, the late classic creative, there was the in-dev versions. There were loads of in-dev versions. None of them are in the launcher that I could find. Then there's the inf-dev versions, which is in further development is what it stands for as far as I'm aware, hopefully. If you guys uh, know differently, then correct me on that. But this is the only inf-dev version that I could find in the launcher. It is... doesn't say what version it is just here, but it is infdev 2010.06.18 and we have single player, we have a grayed out multiplayer play tutorial level. We have options as well. We have loads of options. We have invert mouse show FPS, all the ones that we had before, but now we have fancy graphics versus fast graphics. Whoops. We also have a black screen, which is never what you want to see, but this version, a lot has changed. It has been, what would that be? Maybe a year? Something like that. Didn't actually calculate that. You guys can check it out on the wiki if you want. The in-dev and inf-dev versions seem to be organized by date. And, okay, gonna try to fix this black screen here. Gonna try to fix this black screen, but this is interesting. Apparently, minecarts are there as well. Apparently, rails are there as well. And apparently, a lot of changes have happened. And it is survival mode, apparently. Single player. All right. Ooh, we do have... Oh, you guys can't see this yet because OBS hasn't picked it up yet. There we go. OBS has picked this up. Okay, so single player, as you can see, we have world selection now, which is a lot easier than the previous version. Click on a first empty world, and we now are building terrain. We are ready to start our first world in this version. We shall see what happens. Just going to quickly go and change all the keys. So apparently, okay, so we are now, whoops, just went black again. Well, I guess we won't be spending long in this version. <laughs> okay, but apparently a lot has changed. Let's see if we can actually take a look at what has changed. This is a very significant version because it is the first survival version that we have in the launcher. Just switched OBS. I think it might have been OBS that was messing up the capture, so changed it from a game capture to a window capture. Now, let's go ahead and try World 1. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, so let's see if it doesn't crash. We have trees. The trees are a very light green texture. We have sand as well. We have inventory. Oh, a proper inventory now. We are properly in survival. Are there monsters? That is the big question. That is a big question indeed. Um, there is no hunger bar. There is water. Let's see if we can jump in the water. Nice. We can swim a little bit. We can go down. We can go up. Nice indeed. So it looks like there are biomes of some sort. This would be a limited world most likely. It is not an infinite world, most likely, 
good question whether it is or not, not entirely sure. We will have to walk to find out, but let's go ahead and start trying to survive because actually are there any monsters? Let's uh, let's check. I'm gonna go ahead and check that and be right back. So much has changed in between these versions that we cannot go through all of the changes. But let's just go ahead and start playing it because of the fact it sounds as if there are creepers in this version. Possibly couldn't tell for sure, but there were creepers in an earlier version. So as long as they didn't get removed until ah, um, we don't have a sneak key apparently. Well then, we are not going to survive to sunrise this way. We're gonna have to go back to the previous version. Um, is there no sneak button? Forward, back, jump, inventory, toggle, fog, load location, save location, chat, drop, right, left, there is no sneak. Apparently you cannot sneak, so now we have to get out of here. We have a major problem, actually, we would have to pile up with gravel because we do not have any tools. And we do not have the ability to sneak either. Wow, this is dark in here, gonna have to brighten this off camera, uh, not off camera, but like in post production for you guys. Um, can't really see it myself either. Okay, but this appears to be a cave of some sort. Uh, it appears to be the dead end of a cave. You guys will be able to see it more than I can because of the fact that uh, of brightening things after the fact. Okay, we have about half of our health. Sounds as if there are creepers in this version, possibly. Our goal is to survive every day. Every sunrise is a new version. Oh, we got a piece of flint. That's very nice. We could perhaps make a bow and arrow if such a thing exists in this version. Not sure what exists, what doesn't. Mine carts were added in this version, but apparently a lot of things have been added between the last version that we tried, the late classic creative, and this inf dev version, as you can see in the top left of the game right there. Okay, so we got a lot of gravel, 19. That should be enough to make our way up out of this cave. And right click is now the proper click for placing blocks, which is very nice. And for some reason, it likes to not always place when we place it, which is a little bit of a problem, but let's go ahead and get up. It will take a long time. If we were trying to run away from a monster right there, we would not have gotten out very fast at all. Okay, survive till the next sunrise, and if we die, first of all, is there a sun? Yes, there is. Is it actually moving? It looks like it might be. Yes, it is. Okay, so we need to go ahead and try to survive. We need to survive the night. We need some food desperately. Let's go ahead and try to get some survival materials. This is basic Minecraft survival, of course, but this is basic Minecraft survival in the earliest version that we have, which is capable of survival. We did have to reset the version, uh, not the version, but the world, as you guys may have seen, prior to this version because of the fact that there were some changes, things like that, uh, that were not necessarily compatible with porting the world. So, but we are now officially into the challenge. We can go ahead and officially start fishing if there are any fish. It's possible. We now have a sapling, which is very nice. There's no shift clicking to quickly bring the item down into the inventory. Okay, we need to go ahead and grab an axe and a pickaxe and things like that. Um, let's grab a pickaxe. Let's save our wood. Save our wood. Let's go ahead and grab some stone. Basic Minecraft survival, but in the earliest version of Minecraft, we will see what is different. One thing, for example, appears to be there is no health regeneration, but there's also no hunger bar which means that the hunger bar will regenerate our health if we, well, th not the hunger bar, because there is no hunger bar, but if we eat food, then we will go ahead and regenerate our health, like if you guys have seen that Minecraft beta challenge, the 404 challenge that we did recently. It will be very helpful to eat some food because it will be basically instant eating, unless that's a new feature as of beta that did not exist yet here, but it should be roughly instant eating. Let's go ahead and grab 20 stone if we can. And then we can go ahead and jump on into the shelter. We need to build a shelter and get some food. We will not lose hunger like later versions, which is very nice. Hopefully this version will port into the next version because that would be important if it ports. But we now have 21 stone. We wanted 20, which is excellent. Okay, we can make our tools now. We can grab our saplings now. Let's go ahead and make our axe first, because then we can chop more trees. Okay, so let's make our axe excellent indeed. There we go, axe, and we want to chop another tree because we're going to run out of wood very soon. Let's go ahead and grab this. The sun is going down, or actually it was over here. It went up, so it is past noon now. 
this would probably be a limited world size, most likely. Not sure when actually they changed that. If you guys are interested in checking that out, go ahead and check it out on the wiki. But we need to convert more of these into planks. Actually, one thing you see is that YouTubers who are who started back in this version or a version similar to it, you see them just clicking like this and not actually shift clicking, and then they go ahead and drag the blocks down into the inventory. That must be why they do it, is because there was no such thing as shift clicking, so you get into habits and things like that. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this. We should grab some torches, really. And that would help us to survive underground. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and place, grab a pickaxe. You cannot, what you can do in later versions, just shift and click, but you cannot do that. While holding your blocks, you have to actually put them down, then grab your pickaxe. Now let's grab everything we need, a shovel. What happens if a creeper comes? We need a sword, desperately, so let's grab a sword. And there would be no hotkeys in this version either, which would make it very difficult. And let's see, okay, so we can go ahead and put our sword here, put our pickaxe here. We are about ready to survive. We are surviving very nicely right now. Uh-huh. Where is the sun? Oh, it is almost nighttime. Okay, things will really heat up once nighttime arrives. And by the way, this particular version, we are doing basically everything on camera. That will not be the case in every future version. But this particular version, we're doing that because it is, after all, the first version of Minecraft ever that has survival that we have in the launcher, that is. And as you can see, it looks very nice. It does indeed look very nice. There are trees over there. There's a ocean there as well. We can go ahead and build ourselves a little bit of a shelter if we grab a whole bunch of wood to do so. We should really grab ourselves some armor if we can in the meantime before the night falls because if the night falls and we find that there are creepers coming out, no idea if they exist in this version, but that may set us back into the last creative version that was working. Which would not be very good. Okay, we got 10 logs. We need a little bit more. And then we can go down and grab. We had some coal and some iron right there. Right where we were where we were in the cave. That was very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some blocks so that we can actually survive better. We need to go ahead and head into the cave and try to survive this version. Okay, so here we go. We have survived a good long time. We have not seen any monsters. And we have not died due to fall damage or anything crazy like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put our blocks in that slot, there we go. We got 35 dirt, 36 dirt rather. We got a whole lot of saplings. Wow, the saplings drop a lot faster in this version. That is very nice indeed. Okay, they might even grow a lot faster. Don't fall down there because there is no shift key. You cannot sneak up to the edge of a block and not fall off because there is no shift key in this version. No sneaking. Okay, well, here's some water. We need to head down and try to find some iron. Where was that cave? We had a cave. A few moments ago, what is this here? This would be, oh, what is this? This is a cave. No, it isn't. That's where, oh, wait. Oh, no, that's where we were digging. That's where we were digging. Okay, then. Let's go ahead and head over to the cave if we can find it again. And then we can, yes, excellent, excellent. We can head down here. Let's go ahead and dig down our gravel. Make our way down like this. The gravel seems to dig a little faster than dirt, unless it is just an illusion. But let's go ahead and grab some iron and one piece of iron. Nice. That is not what we were hoping for. But it'll work. And there's no sprinting in this version, possibly. Let's go ahead and check that once we get down. We do not want to sprint off of the pillar, so we will go ahead and head down to the bottom of the cave first. So far, we've not seen any monsters. But they may only spawn at night in this version. That's possible. Ooh, there is some stone here. Not some stone. Well, I mean, there is some stone. But there is also some coal, which is very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Let's grab a whole bunch of coal. And then we can make some torches. Hopefully, we shall be able to light up the darkness. Oh, we have a way down there. We can go ahead, place down our crafting table. We need to go ahead and make a couple of torches. There we go, like this. Very nice indeed. We have our torches. We can go ahead and place down our torches somewhere around here. Such as farther down the cave. Crafting tables take a long time to break with the stone axe in this version. Okay. So let's go ahead and head down as far as we can. Although the farther we head down, the less we can see of the sunrise, which is a problem. So we will not be able to see whether we have survived the night or not if we are down here. So let's hope that no monsters show up. Let's hope that no monsters show up because what we learned from the beta version 
is that the monsters are very hard to defeat in the beta version. So hopefully if they are in this version, they will not be that hard to defeat as they are in the beta version. Uh, we got a whole bunch more coal, excellent indeed, very nice indeed. We need iron though, we need to get armor desperately. Do we have, yes we do have slots for armor, which is very nice indeed. So far there are no monster noises, but what if, what if creepers are the only mob in this version and creepers come and sneak up behind you? Actually we didn't see any pigs or sheep or anything on the surface, so not sure exactly. It must just be where we are. Did we see any? Hmm. We might have. Uh, we got 15 coal. Okay. What we really need is iron, but we do need coal to smelt the iron as well, which is a good point. We do need a furnace. We do need a furnace. That is a good point. Okay, so we will need 8 iron for a chest plate, 7 more for the leggings. We would also need to brighten up this cave. There we go. We would also need four for the boots, five for the helmet. We have currently ten. Okay, so that would be enough for the chest plate and not much more. Let's go ahead and ignore that coal for now. The torches seem a lot darker than in future versions. That's possible. Okay, well, we need to grab as much iron as we can. Now this is getting dangerous because we have a cave over there, we have a cave over there, we have a cave over there. Hopefully no monsters are here. Hopefully the monsters actually spawn uh, only at night because that would keep us a little bit safer. Place down a torch. We would be safe. We would be safe until monsters show up. At night, if they do in this version, no idea if they do or not, uh, we should head down here. Probably is the best way of finding iron by going down here. Um, nothing around here. There's some more coal. Oh, there's some iron up on the top of that place over there. Okay, and then we should probably go with what we have. We should probably head up to the surface and build ourselves a shelter before nighttime hits. And then smelt our iron, all that kind of stuff. Let's grab a little bit of coal and then head back out to the surface. After looking over here, there appears to be nothing over there. And we cannot get too close to the edge of the block because we will fall off. Okay then. Well, we are well on our way to heading back to the surface. We are going to the surface to go ahead and survive the night. Let's go ahead and follow our torches just like this. Nice, 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 nice. That is the wrong way. That is the wrong way. Okay, we were trying to get to down here. Aha, follow the torches on the left. It helps if you always put the torches on the same side. Such as the left, aha, uh -huh, there we go. We now have a pathway to get up here. We do not want to place our iron ore, we want to place our gravel. Let's place our gravel. And it doesn't always place for some reason, not sure why that is. Uh, let's see, okay, wow, it's getting dark. Okay, we can head up to the surface, and hopefully we do not die if, hopefully our blocks actually place properly. Come on, they're not always working. Let's just go ahead and click ourselves manually rather than holding the button. Aha! Wow, it's dark. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this. We may have to brighten it in uh, in editing, but let's see. There appear to be no monsters yet. So hopefully this is a safe version, and hopefully the monsters show up soon, because otherwise this challenge will be easy. This challenge will be easy if the monsters do not show up. So yeah, let's keep an eye on things. Uh, okay, the moon. Which way is the moon going? up so it's not quite midnight yet midnight would be up there the moon is heading towards midnight okay then well let's go ahead and keep wandering around you know what let's take this opportunity at night oh we didn't actually heal oh we didn't you know what let's hold our sword we did not see any mobs at all yet so how do you regenerate health well let's go ahead and wander around see if we can find any mobs and uh, basically, yeah, we want to survive and not take fall damage, not take anything crazy, but see if we can get to the edge of the world before nighttime is done. It's midnight right now. Let's see if we can get to the edge of the world. There appears to be no danger at the moment. Appears to be. But we shall see what happens. Okay, so there's no monsters in the water. No monsters over here, it looks like, either. Let's just keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, and see what we can see over here. Anything that we can see over here? No idea. No idea. Let's just fix the audio monitor. Just reset itself once again. Okay, here we go. 
Now let's head over here. We have seen no monsters, but creepers tend to sneak up. By the way, creepers, by the way, were in an earlier test version. They were in the survival test, which is why I keep talking about them. Um, this is actually the inf dev survival in further development, which hopefully, like, would probably mean, you would assume, that it would mean that there is actually stuff, like a lot of stuff in this version, and probably creepers would be in here as well, because they were in the pre-classic test. There's a spider! Okay, there's some spiders. We found the monsters. There are these spiders up ahead there. We need to build our shelter very quickly. Let's go ahead and build it out of gravel. Let's build a quick shelter out of gravel, like this. Do we have the ability to make a door? No idea. But if we build it like this, then spiders can't get in, hopefully. And we cannot place gravel for a roof. So let's go ahead and place down wooden planks for a roof. Aha! There we go. Wooden planks, wooden planks, wooden planks, wooden planks, wooden planks, wooden planks, wooden planks. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the spiders. Um, we do need to eat something. Ah! Hello, sir, spider. Come over here, please. Our current location is completely invulnerable to spiders. You may not enter because the building is not capable of your size entering the entrance. So, ah, he's following. Okay, well, we can attack him from here. Aha. Oh, apparently he can hit us from there. Okay, well, that's not good. Aye, we almost died, actually. Okay, we need to actually block ourselves in completely. Well, actually, that's our problem. We blocked ourselves in completely. Uh, as in, incomplete. But now we need to block ourselves in completely. Uh, what can we eat? We, are, we have nothing at all that we can eat, so we cannot regenerate our health. We only found our, a couple of spiders. That was one. There was another spider close by. But we only found a... Oh, we got some string. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, but we only found one spider just then. Um, yeah, we, they can climb up on the roof. We can see out the roof, though. Um, what exactly are we planning to do about this night? Because it looks like if we... Okay, we're on one and a half hearts. So if we die, then everything is lost, and we go back to the previous creative version, because apparently we were completely incompetent at surviving into survival. So apparently we have to stay in creative for another day if we die here, which hopefully we will not do so. There was a spider over that way, but not anymore. Uh, let's see. Uh, was there an option for showing the frame rate? Ah, yes. Oh! Oh, we have a lot of neat numbers to look at. Okay, so we have free memory numbers, we have entity numbers, a whole bunch of things. Frame rate, 120 frames per second. Nice. Let's go ahead and turn that off because that's a lot of stuff on the screen. Okay. Well then, well then, okay, um, yeah, so it looks like we're a little bit safe for now. It looks like we have survived. That was sort of a slower sort of episode than usual, unless uh, unless there's going to be some editing or something. But yeah, it looks like we have survived. The sun is rising. We cannot see it just yet. We are jumping a lot. Uh, no spiders, looks like. Okay, well then, we have survived our first night. Next time, we are heading on to the next version. So it is now daytime. We have one and a half hearts to survive into the next version. We have advanced a version. We are, or at least we have accomplished the challenge for the next version. We are going to advance into Minecraft full alpha release version 1.0.0 we went through the entirety of the versions up until alpha now we are ready we have survived a night and we are ready to jump into the next version and there have been a lot of changes because there are versions that we do not have in the launcher between this version and full alpha release here's some of the changes according to the minecraft wiki next time we will have Dungeons, mob spawners, saddles, passive mob spawning drastically reduced, which we didn't actually see any passive mobs at all, so not sure if that's a good thing. Tree density reduced, apparently. Added cobblestone stairs, oak stairs, so we could build roofs, things like that. And then apparently, according to the wiki, the full alpha release version 1.0.0, in rendering, it changed some things. That must just be, like, technical details. 
But apparently, if your spawn Y is set to 64, or no, if your spawn Y is set below level 64, so like underground, it will set your spawn up to level 64. Does that mean just on respawning, or does that mean, like, will that mean that if we're underneath a cave and we die, then we'll spawn back on the surface? Although, that wouldn't really matter too much because we're going to go back a version anyways, which means to next episode, if we go ahead and die, then we will revert back to this infdev version, in further development version. Yeah, so the challenge is heating up. We now have the challenge fully in effect where every day you advance a version, but if you die, you switch back, so do not die. That is the challenge. If you guys are interested in checking out this challenge now that it is fully in effect, then come back next episode, and we are going to have some fun, play some games, and we are going to continue this challenge and see what we can do now that we are actually in survival. See you guys next week. Yeah.